It's crazy to see this room as full as it is tonight. It seems like a dream, it really does. Critics associations like this that kind of like keep pushing us forward. Yeah, I think we need more representation and in order to do that, we need to like make moves and to be honoring that tonight feels really good. A man who inspires me every day. The winner of the Inspire Award, Mr. Dion Taylor. Diversity, helping others, opening doors and allowing other people to actually walk through. One of the things that I thought was really impressive about this decade is the generation of young up and coming actors. And we wanted to, as an organization, celebrate them. I would like to bring to the stage Millicent Simmons, the first next generation acting award. The more stories we see, the more understanding we have. The more understanding we have, the more compassion we have. And we need compassion now more today than ever. The variety of films that they've nominated and across the board, I think shows that, that a lot of different voices are, are being heard. Smart people having thoughtful conversations that are meaningful right now and really pushing the boundaries. Educating ourselves on all cinema, the diversity in cinema, the stories that we're not privy to, that we only know the headlines. When all the members of the association came up on stage earlier, I took a good look at all of their faces. Seeing their faces and their eyes, I knew that we were all lovers of cinema and great fans of films. I dedicate this award to the coffee shop owners who allowed me to write my script. The world has changed so much in terms of the landscape of critics. Online gives so many more people an opportunity to have a voice that we did not have before. For us, it's been interesting to see like what different communities embrace our movie. I've got to say, tonight is becoming one of my favorite nights that I've had in a long time. And thank you, Hollywood Critics Association! The award for best first feature goes to Honey Boy and its director, Alma Hurrah. Just seeing people organize like that, you know, and start something new and being inclusive and making room for more people that are working so hard is so important to me. Kindness and love, the things we need most. So thank you to the Hollywood Critics Association for this honor, one that is essentially about kindness and love. Each year, we set out to find a leader in change in this industry and an advocate for social progress. This year, our decision was simple. It's Olivia Wilde. It's the best night of my life. Thank you so much for coming to my mom, Bat Mitzvah. This is the only award show that matters. You're the most diverse critics association in the country, and that matters. Content that has the power to educate, to entertain, to inspire. I'm proud to be working in this era. I'm proud to have made the films I've made. Hey, Paul Walter Hauser here, big fan of the Hollywood Critics Association, and I appreciate you involving me in this year's festivities. Thank you to the Hollywood Critics Association for being so inclusive this year, and really happy and proud to be here. Giving voice to the voiceless and representing a lot of people. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hollywood Critics Association, for realizing the Arneson. Big thank you to the Hollywood Critics Association. It's an honor for me. I'm uh, deeply happy to be with you tonight. Here tonight at the Hollywood Critics Association Awards and super stoked to be honored as one of the next gen. Thank you guys to the Hollywood Critics Association. I'm so grateful for you. Ah!